Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. Valerie has the night off. But first, in one month, licensed industrial hemp production can begin across Arizona. Not on your side's Ivan Rodriguez toured a medical marijuana farm that says, depending on where those hemp farms are located, it could mean the end of their business. Located near I-19 in Amato, Arizona, one medical marijuana farm anxiously waits to see what the future of their business holds. We've been fighting this issue since about October. Damian Kennedy is the inventory analysis and compliance manager at Amato Management, one of two licensed medical marijuana farms in Amato. Kennedy says after Governor Ducey signed a bill allowing the State Department of Agriculture to grant licenses for industrial hemp operations, their business is at risk because of cross-pollination. We have two outdoor grows and they have absolutely no protection whatsoever. So if some hemp grow should go south of us, east, west or whatever, any pollen would just drift right on there and they'd be done. The outdoor grows aren't the only ones in danger. We have very, very little protection within the greenhouse. A lot of people say, oh, you got plenty, but you got walls and not really. This building that we're actually in right now kind of acts like a swamp cooler. Kennedy says air from the outside gets sucked inside the greenhouse and through a water wall. If pollen from hemp were to go through that ventilation system, their $14 million investment and about 140 employees would be over. Right now we're asking the supervisors in both Pima County and Santa Cruz uh, for a 10 mile setback between the businesses or between the industries. And that setback will give us just a little bit of a breathing room to protect our investment, our plants and our employees. Supervisors of both counties say they are continuing to investigate the issue. We don't want mutual destruction. Hemp will be a good product for Arizona. It really will. We just don't want it within 10 miles of us. In Snowflake, Arizona, a similar 10 mile setback ordinance was passed last year. Kennedy says this could be a model for the rest of Arizona. Ivan Rodriguez, KGA9, on your side.